वन पी एम पाकिस्तान स्टैंडर्ड टाइम असलम दिस इज रेडियो पाकिस्तान द न्यूज रेड बाय असमा हफीज फर्स्ट द हेडलाइंस Pakistan and Saudi Arabia have decided to take necessary steps towards declaring Islamabad and Riyadh as twin cities. Planning minister says export-led growth is the top priority of the government. Tribal elders and scholars have expressed their support for revival of peace in Balochistan. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir Indian troops have martyred 922 children over past 36 years. And now the news in detail. <coughs> Pakistan and Saudi Arabia have agreed to take necessary steps towards declaring Islamabad and Riyadh as twin cities. This came at a meeting between Interior Minister Mohsin Naqvi and Saudi Deputy Interior Minister Nasir bin Abdul Aziz Ad Daud in Islamabad today. The two sides also agreed to implement prisoner exchange agreement. The legal process for the repatriation of 419 Pakistani prisoners in Saudi Arabia will be completed soon. Mohsin Naqvi in his remarks said Saudi Arabia is our fraternal country assuring full cooperation for promotion of bilateral relations. Mohsin Naqvi said there is no visa requirement for Saudi nationals to visit Pakistan and they can come to Pakistan whenever they want to. Saudi Deputy Interior Minister said Kingdom wants to further promote its relations with Pakistan. Minister for Planning and Development Asan Iqbal says export-led growth is top priority of the government. Addressing a conference in Islamabad today, he said GSP Plus scheme has enabled Pakistan to diversify its trade portfolio and enter new markets. He mentioned that Pakistan's exports to the European Union have grown by more than 100% over the past decade, reaching almost up to $10 billion. He said we must capitalize on GSP Plus scheme by prioritizing high-end garments and technology-driven products in order to achieve the export-led growth target. Pakistan's IT exports reached $1.2 billion during first four months of current fiscal year. According to State Bank, IT exports amounted to $330 million in October, which is 13% higher than in September. The IT sector has been exporting services approximately $290 million on average per month over the past one year. With increase in IT exports, Pakistani companies have also expanded number of their global clients. Tribal elders and scholars have expressed their support for revival of peace in Balochistan. The sentiments were expressed by them during a meeting with the IGFC Balochistan North in Lorelei. The tribal elders and scholars paid tribute to the key role of law enforcement agencies for maintenance of peace in the province. They also expressed full confidence and satisfaction on the steps being taken by Balochistan government and Pakistan army for the development of the province. The tribal elders assured full cooperation for maintenance of law and order. Pakistan has reaffirmed its demand for adding more non-permanent seats to make Security Council more effective, representative and accountable. Pakistan's cuisine, this reaffirmation was expressed by Pakistan's permanent representative to the United Nations, Munir Akram, while talking to delegates in New York. He said there is no justification for creation of new centers of privilege within the UN and there were no states which could justifiably claim such unequal status under the UN Charter. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, Indian forces have martyred 922 children over the past 36 years. This was stated in a report released by Kashmir Media Service on the occasion of World Children's Day today. The report said children remain most vulnerable victims of India's illegal occupation and military oppression in the territory. And now cricket. Pakistan white ball squad will play their first match of 3-1 international match series against Zimbabwe at Bulawayo on Sunday. The match will start at 12:30 in the afternoon. And that's all from the newsroom. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins 
on the link facebook.com/shwetipakistan news official